Hey everybody, how's it going? Corey here from ThemeCo with a quick video on the grid element. Now I've talked about this in a couple previous videos, but a technique that I love to employ in my designs whenever possible is this idea of auto responsive layouts. Basically something that responds based on parameters I have for my content rather than responding at certain global breakpoints throughout my design. This is really helpful for situations where I've got text elements that maybe I don't want to wrap beyond a certain line length, or I'd like to keep all my headlines on one line. There's many different reasons why you might do it. But the great thing about it is that you'll notice right here, you'll see that my layout went from three columns to two columns, but I didn't change my breakpoint here. If I go a little further, you'll see that now we're on our medium breakpoint. I can keep going further and you'll see that my text gets right here, right before it wraps to a sixth line, and then it goes out to a single column. So the idea is that your layout is responding more to how your content is set up rather than these global breakpoints. We've discussed how to do this with our row element previously, and today we'll talk about how to do it in the grid element. Now, it does require a few little keywords and some new syntax that you might not be familiar with, but that's okay, we will break it down together. I'm gonna open up my cog here just so we can see the whole value here. And it might look a little scary, but again, there's some stuff here we've already played around with in previous videos. You'll see our repeat statement is first, and we already know from that that we set up our repeat statement open parentheses, close parentheses. And then our first value here is typically a number. So we might say something like four and then put a comma and then put one FR. So what that would mean is I wanna repeat this one FR value four times. Now, instead of using a simple number here and a simple value, what we're using is this keyword of auto fit. And auto fit basically does exactly what it sounds like. It says, I will try and fit as many of this value in one line as I can. Now, in conjunction with that, we're also using this min max CSS function for the second value here. And it takes two values, basically the minimum value that you don't want your content to be any smaller than, and then the maximum value that you'd like it to fill up to. So for this particular situation, my minimum value is 18 rems, and then my max value is one FR. So what I'm basically saying is, fill all available space when you can with this one FR value, but don't allow this content to be any smaller than 18 rems. And we can see this in action again right here. Notice that I'm in my large breakpoint, and I've got three columns here. And if I size down just a little bit, it breaks down to two columns, but I haven't changed my breakpoint over here. And this is because right about here, my columns are right at that 18 rem minimum value. And then right as they're about to go below, they will break into two columns here so that they can fill more space. So again, what's really neat about this is I know that my content will always look great and that text will never wrap too much or get too scrunched. I've basically set it up exactly how I want it to look across the board. Now, this syntax is definitely a little bit of a mouthful. So the nice thing is once you type it in once, we can use our copy and paste trick. So we can copy our layout here and either paste it to one other particular breakpoint if we want, or we could simply apply it to all and that would work on all of our breakpoints here. And then if we needed to, we could go in and adjust different ones if we wanted. Now where this differs a little bit from our row element, because you might be looking at this saying, I can effectively do that with my row element, setting in a hard value for its layout and then using the grow property. We've talked about that in a previous video. But the cool thing about grid is, so I've set this up now, but perhaps at different breakpoints, I would like to place certain cells to have a particular look. So I can maybe jump in here and have this cell fill in here, this one fill in here, and this one fill in here. So now I've got kind of a mixture of my auto-responsive layout. I've got a couple placed cells that are filling up more space than they normally would. 
and then these other cells are just using their auto placement value to fill in where they should be. So we can combine this auto responsive layout with more specific placement to get some really cool looks and some really powerful layouts. Again, these are just some simple ideas that I come up with to demonstrate various concepts to you all. We really look forward as always to seeing how you all take these ideas and run with them on your own for your own builds.